And welcome back to Minecraft episode 165. It should be Friday. And in the last episode, we died a bunch of times. We had several cases of double death syndrome. But I pretty much successfully got all of this crap back over here. And that makes me very happy. Because right here, you know what lag. Right here in this spot is where the tower is going. And the tower is going to be my workshop, my base of operations, and um, it's going to be where I test out some of the new updated content. However, there are far too many trees in this area to build anything impressive. So, you know what that means. Oh yes, I went there. I am burning them all down because the last episode got kind of boring with all the deaths even though you were wondering hey is he gonna make it back yeah we, we've done that before so let's try something different burn burn this is gonna go forever this fire and when it's done I'll be able to reap the benefits and the fruits of my labor burn burn you all I know you might be thinking I'm setting a horrible example for my server, but let me explain something to you. Burning trees down in single player is, uh, is fine. Because it's, you know, you're clearing a forest fast. Burning trees in multiplayer isn't, you know, you can do it for the same reason, but as you can see, you can't see it, but my frame rate is 8 right now. If I turn up the fog, it's, it's 9. And that's because there are so many individual animations. This is a visual representation of what's going on with the trees all the time. You can't see it, but they are constantly updating themselves, and it's annoying. Because this is where the lag comes from. And you can see it visually with the fire, how many blocks are actually updating at once. It gets ridiculous. So... Yeah, this is funny. <laughs> that is one thing. It is pretty entertaining to watch all these all these trees burn. Let's see. I, did I lose my iron? Yes. Yes, I did. You know what? I just didn't have enough pockets. Somebody actually suggested that Notch make a backpack. And that's that's a decent idea. He probably won't do it because you already have an inventory, but it'd be nice to have an extended inventory when when you're going on them long trips. And, uh, how about this for an idea? Anything you put in the backpack doesn't fall off your stinking body. How about that? Here's your question for the day. How about a backpack item that has the same amount of storage as one size of chest, and if you get killed with the backpack on, the backpack stays on and you don't lose I any items in the backpack hey great idea glad I thought of it just kidding glad the guy that thought of it thought of it but I think it's a good idea make a backpack that preserves your things this is nonsense you know uh, I know that there's some of you out there that go into caves and you explore the crap out of these caves I mean you spend hours in these caves and then something happens um, in the cave or as you're leaving the cave that's what I wanted to do put the sulfur in there and you die and if you die in the cave around the lava area everything gets burned all of that work that you just did is gone a and you'll never get it back you've got to start over now, I don't know about you, but in a game like this, that is horse crap. <laughs> because that's the last thing you want to do, is invest all that time and energy when, you know, it's not, it's not about being more careful, because you and I both know that sometimes that's impossible. Uh, like if the game lags, for example, what are you supposed to do then? You're standing there fine, the next minute you're, you're engulfed in flames, and then you hear that little sizzle sound that all of your things have been burned and they're never coming back where am I? Oh. you know I think I don't see items sometimes
because I don't have them in the right order. I think that's a good explanation for that. These swords are sticking by my side, man. These swords are loyal. It's the only thing that hasn't, you know, gone away. I'm going to build uh, another furnace here, too. Start doing this clay. Yeah, the swords, <laughs> the swords are mind force uh, compliant. All right, now, unfortunately, some of these blocks of wood do burn forever. So the idea here is to gradually, not all at once, but gradually uh, get rid of all of the floating blocks. Oh, there's a leaf that never burned. An, an infinite burning leaf. Interesting. Not anymore. Yeah, I can't do them all at once. I'll spend three episodes chopping wood. I mean, did you see the size of this forest fire? <laughs> I shudder to think at how far it's gone. Let's find out. Actually, I have my dirt on me? Oh, yeah. Let's find out just how far it went. <laughs> the game is like, no, don't do this. Don't do this! <laughs> I'm not going to go to the sky. I just want to see. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. That's rough. Interestingly enough, though, it didn't burn as many as I thought it would. But it is still spreading. And there's that old one over there in the distance. So, yeah, th this, this is about how much I wanted to clear out. Uh, good. Let's turn the fog back up as we make our descent. There. Alright, let's, let's get some of this new wood, shall we? Do I have the inventory for it? Yeah, I do. I, I'm keeping my things on me right now, and I'm playing by the spawn, so it's not as dangerous. But I am eventually going to build a chest room to, you know, store all this stuff. And I, I'm going to use a mild organization system. I'm not going to build, you know, 40 chests for each individual thing, like I do on the multiplayer server, which I really can't do anyway, because there's thieves. You know, I build a chest room on the Moria server, and there was a lot of stuff in there. I log in the next day, all of it is gone. Now, it was the Miner's Guild, so I expect people to use it, but please replace your divots. If you're going to take half a chest full of stacks of cobblestone, uh, maybe you should let somebody know or have the intention of, of putting it back. Because that is a lot of cobblestone to lift. And honestly, do you need it all at once? If you do, set up a dig. Don't just take it all because somebody else might need it. And that's my rant on that. Ow. Alright. I have I have a good part of this cleared out. Oh, I want to do this tree. Because I'm going to build this direction too. I think, honestly, I'm going to end up building a red brick train station. Because the goal here is to explore over this mountain into the water and see what's what's over there. I'm pretty sure I can get a good a good thing going because those mountains were cool that I found but they were too far away. Too far. Unless I set up a base out there and connect it with mine track. But mine track, you know, that that takes a while to lay down, so I would probably go into chipmunk mode for that. Okay. I'm ready ready to build. So the first step, we need the foundation. So I'm going to start laying the, uh, the foundation for this thing, and I can do this pretty fast. I should probably have used cobblestone since I have more of that, but I'm using dirt. Oh yeah. So we're just going to go back and forth like this, like an old style printer that had to read the uh, inputs back and forth and punch the little holes into the paper. You might not remember those, but I do. Okay, <laughs> this stuff is too far away too. I gotta move the chest, migrate the chest over. Uh, yeah, I have, well I've got some dirt to speak of. About a hundred and, hundred, hundred and some. I have gravel, but I don't like using that as a foundation. 
Not when I can turn it into... Oh, crap. I better hurry. Not when I can turn it into uh, flint. There we go. Yeah, what I'll have to do here is, since night is approaching, I'm going to put some uh, makeshift walls up. Because I'm going to get mobbed like never before out here. Especially with all this fire. Oh, yeah. At least I'll be able to see, right? A little better. And this is the spawn point, so <laughs> if I if I get killed here, I'll be okay. I'll, I'll manage. So the first step is through the uh, the night time here. I want to build a uh, tunnel over to the chest, and then start moving things um, back and forth into another chest that I'm going to put inside this opening. That looks cool actually at night time. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna build as much of this as we can before the mobs start getting ornery. And then when they start coming out in the waves that they like to do, then I will Start building uh, more responsibly. There we go. And now uh, we'll do this side. I'm also not placing a torch because I found out that torches attract mobs. I know I have torches out here, but I haven't placed those recently. I think it's the torches that you place fresh. That's what they look for. Alright, I'm going to have to use cobble. I, I still have my diamond pick, amazingly funny how that survived all of this, right? Hey, that was the one thing I was able to count on in the last the last series was that pick. Okay, good. This is right in line with this chest here. You can hear the fires crackling in the distance. Oh, what fun it is. I notice too when I complain about Notch, and I do, because I have a lot of respect for the man. He created something amazing. I do notice though when I complain about Notch that nobody really complains back. They kind of agree with me. It's like, yeah, you know, maybe this should have been this way, or maybe we are waiting for the wrong type of updates. But at the same time, uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell what goes on in these so-called companies because they never give you the whole story. I mean, Notch was nice enough to post that he did a lot of sleeping over last weekend, and that's he's entitled to that. Because when you code the way he codes or do anything on a computer, you need your rest, man. It's as tiring as hard labor. <coughs> and I'll stand by that statement all of my days. It is. It's a taxing uh, experience to use the computer the way that game developers and let's players and and youtubers and and the like do it's tough cuz you have to deal with all the computer's crap all right now i'm safe and we will begin the chest sorry we will begin the chest migration operation that includes the work table now, the person that complained about me taking the chest contents uh, and then taking the chest, <laughs> I will I will show mercy on you, and I will take this chest and bust it apart, both sides, so that you can be entertained, and also so that your your life is made a little easier. Is that cool? Thought so. Two chests. No. I only need two here. I wanted to make four, but I'm going to get two when I break the other one. Okay, so all of this stuff, and I mean everything. Cause I'm going to have to make two trips one way or the other. Every stinking item I'm carrying is going here. Hey, here's another idea, Notch. While we're on the subject, this is not a complaint. This is a, a good suggestion. 
Okay, you guys remember that I played Fate a while back uh, as a bonus episode. Well, in the game of Fate, when you were taking stuff from your inventory to the pet, you could hold the shift key and when you clicked an item it would automatically jump to the other inventory. And I would really like to see that in Minecraft. I think that would, would just be, because look at this. Oh, wait. Wait. I almost trolled somebody. Yes, I realize you can break the chest and all of your contents will spill out everywhere. But think about it. Shift clicking when you're trying to put stuff into the chest? What are you going to break to do that? That's what I thought. Yeah. It'd be really nice if we could do some shift clicking to just make stuff go really, really fast. Because let's face it. This business of, of this, you know, troll click, 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 click. That's, that's not good. Ah, that's sandstone, that's why. Yeah, not good. Just thought of something else with this sandstone, since the graphic obviously is not going to get changed anytime soon. Just get a texture pack, Sorv. No, no, we're not doing that. I shouldn't have to download a texture pack to make the game, uh, you know, make more sense. It's plausible. The, the fact that there's... Oh, I did have those mushrooms. Well, I'm an idiot. The, the 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 graphics if they're two different items you need unique graphic types from a distance it is a little easier to tell what it is when you uh okay this is done too oh, better just collect it that way when you have it on full screen it's a little easier to tell but let's be honest the sandstone should really be something more unique than almost exactly like sand the only way you can tell it apart is when it's actually placed. And that's that's weird. You know, it's not intuitive design. And of course I don't get the workbench, because I use a sword to break it. Oh well. What are you gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna <sighs> Did I put those chests in there? Yeah I did. I was gonna say, where the heck did they go? Yeah, I got a lot of crap on me. Okay, so here's here's the basic idea. And no, this is not the what the base is going to be. It's not going to be a dirt, you know, hole in the in the ground. But I I am going to take stuff that I really am not going to use right away and I'm going to put it in one chest. Then the stuff I use more frequently goes in the other chest. So things like another rack, extra swords, you know, excess building materials, they go here. Which will eventually make it into a proper chest. And this is going to be a great uh, building material. I look forward to using this. Uh, mossy stone, you know, the bricks I will use, but I have a lot of them now. As a matter of fact, why don't we start that process while we're at it. Let that simmer for a while. Because that's, that's a big task. I will have the coal for it. But we have got to set up a super furnace factory and start melting down this this clay. Because boy howdy do I have a lot of it. Seven. Alright. Chess era. Furnace central. I think I got six stacks of clay. And what the heck else can I melt down? Well, I can burn wood, but I don't need to do that because I got coal. So let's set these guys in here. Uh, there we go. And I'll just split it into its parts right now. Very nice. You go there. You go there. Ooh, I hear the mobs. I hear them out there roaming around. And I'm still alive. Because I'm busy, mobs. I don't have time for your garbage. Okay. <laughs> what is going on out there? Anything interesting? Yes? No? How about we, uh... Let's do another bow, shall we? I like that idea. 
as I put my sticks away inadvertently, not realizing I would need them right away. Yeah, sticks are definitely something. Not that I should chest them, but to make things easier next time, put extra in there, and that way it's it's ready. Another bow. Oh, yeah. You can tell I am advancing in this game, because, you know, when it takes an entire season to make a bow, and then in the next season you make one, you know, right away, means you're, you're doing something right. Well, that was a zombie right there. Or a chicken. Not sure. As we run over the castle walls, there's something burning in the distance. Not only is he burning because of the sun, they're surrounded by fire. <laughs> Trolling the mobs. Oh, yeah. Or was it a log? I couldn't tell. Oh, well. This episode is finished. And we've made some progress, finally. <laughs> it's almost like I built... Ooh. It just gave me an idea. Looks like I'm building a castle wall here, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, before I go, let's have some fun with eggs. See if I can spawn another chicken. Now, what you do is you get the, the chicken there and you... Bam! That time it didn't work. But sometimes you can uh, hit a chicken with an egg and it spawns another chicken. Which is cool, I guess. I don't really see the point in that, but it's it's fun. And that's what Minecraft should be. Fuck.